The dawn of the deadly 18th century. Rogues and sailors band together to live their lives by the sword. With no laws or morals, no gods and no fear. Only betrayal, mutiny, cruelty, and debauchery. There is plunder to be found on golden beaches. Will you risk life and soul to fight the pirates of nightmares? Benjamin Hornigold, Calico Jack, Charles Bain, and Blackbeard? Cipher. Feel, but hardly touch. Signal is still too weak, and I am spread thin. Unfocused, like static and fog, lingering in networks and nodes, the nervous system of the world. Can you hear? Perhaps the temple was open too soon, but this was not by choice. The Cataclysm pushed all doubt aside. <sighs> we bless poor Desmond, who gave his life so that you, the children of our labors, would live on to fulfill your purpose and ours, in mine. But now is not the time. My strength is not sufficient to inhabit an organic vessel. There is more work to do, more samples to acquire, more artifacts to find before my will can obtain. What's happening? Tell me! Make me whole again, my children, my instruments. Bring me forth to fulfill your purpose. Tell me! No, no, no! Something's wrong! God damn it! Be here now, living in that goddamned head of yours. Fuck, 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 fuck. Why did she spare you? Why are you still here? <sighs> Charges, sir, I'll hear them again. My lord, His Majesty's court contends that the defendants 
Mary Reed and Anne Bonney did piratically, feloniously, and in an hostile manner attack, engage, and take seven certain fishing boats. Secondly, this court contends that the defendants lurked upon the high seas and did set upon, shoot at, and take to certain merchant sloops, thus putting the captains and their crews in corporeal fear of their lives. Edward James Kenway, born of motley parentage in Swansea, to an English father and Welsh mother, married at 18 to Miss Caroline Scott, now estranged. She's a beautiful woman, I am told, but not at all well these days. If you touch her, you bastard, I'll... Quite a surprise finding you here rotting in a Jamaican prison. We heard rumors that you had taken up with the pirate Roberts. If you know the observatory's location, tell us now, and you'll be out of here in a flash. Rogers can hold these British hounds at bay for a time, but this will be your fate if you fail to cooperate. You, Mary Reed and Anne Bonny, are to go from hence to the place from whence you came, and from thence to the place of execution, where you shall be severally hanged by the neck, till you are severally dead, dead, dead! Oh, Ross! May God in his infinite mercy be merciful to each of your souls! We're pregnant! Do you all hear that? What the devil did she say? They plead their bellies, my lord. Aye, you can't hang a woman quick with child, can ye? Quiet! Quiet! If what you claim is true, then your executions will be stayed, but only until your terms are up. Then I'll be up the duck the next time you come knocking. Remove them! Ken Moore, Conway. It's Walpole, ain't it? Walpole? Where'd you get that? Well, that's the rumor going round. As dirty and daft a pirate as ever sailed these West Indies. Well, whatever his name, you gotta make sure he suffers without dying. Orders from the governor. And back to the prisons at sundown. And massage what? his feet if he's aching, is that right? Good morning, Captain Kenway. I have a gift for you. Do not mistake my purpose here. I have come for Anne and Mary, and you owe me nothing for this. But if you would lend me your aid, I can promise you safe passage from this place. I'll need weapons. You are comfortable with this, I am told. We must hurry. Stop the 
bastard! Help! Get on this I need some help here! Alarm! Help me, <coughs> damn it! You won't lose us, they're already dead! Wait, could be trying to... Alarm! Me. Rouse yourselves, <coughs> you dullards! <coughs> I'm a sight. Got a clear shot on the little shite. I have a clear <laughs> shot. <laughs> You're in my sight. You sight. get back here. Sweet ah, uh, damn it. <laughs> I've got a deadline on him. Bastards in my sight. Get out! 
My sights clear as day. Discovered and brought here. Didn't hear what happened after, though. Best of luck to you, mate. 
I wish we'd parted as friends. He's a friend. What's wrong with Mary? She's ill. And her child? They took her. No idea where. Oh! 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 I know it pains, my lady, but we must be silent. Can you walk? <gasps> Lean on me, Mary. Come on. I can't. Search every cell! Come on, that's it. You're all right. Stop. Stop, please. I ain't leaving you, damn it. Oh. Lift your arm. It's no good. There's no one here! I ain't leaving you nowhere. No bloody way. Put me down, Edward. Don't die on my account. Go. This is such a pain in the ass. Damn it. You should have been the one to outlast me. I've done my part. Will you? If you came with me, I could. Mary. I'll be with you, can we? What happened to Mary? What's wrong? Is she gone? What would you do now? Nothing sensible. You haven't earned this, but... they suit you.
Good fortune to you, Edward Kenway. I see some color first. Will this do? In all your years out here, you could never achieve what I've done in one fifth the time. Because you're a good man, Edward, see? Goodness is your disease. That's my prize, Roberts. I'll give it here! Remember my creed, boy. A short life and a merry one, that is all. The world owes us nothing more than this. So take what you will, and then die before you live to see yourself made a fool. Give it here. That's right, boy, take it. I'll sweeten you, maggot. I'll cut you down! Slink back to your kennel. You haven't the metal for my brand of madness. Robert! Welcome aboard, Kenway. It's prizes, plunder, and adventure ahead. Are you game? Out of my way, Ben. Raise a glass to freedom, lads. Here's to gentlemen of fortune and women of leisure. To a world full of rogues better than all the kings and queens that kick us about. As gentlemen of fortune, we enjoy plenty and satisfaction, pleasure and ease, liberty and power. What man with a sensible mind would choose the former life? For I have dipped my hands in muddied waters, and, withdrawing them, find tis better to be a commander than a common man!
field that swoop down on powerful wings to seize a grazing lamb and carry it off to their nest. Flying close by, a jackdaw saw the field, and it filled his head with the idea that he too was just as strong and capable. So, with a great flapping and rustling of feathers, the jackdaw came down swiftly and clutched at the coat of a large ram. But when he tried to fly away, he found he could not lift the animal, for his size and strength were not up to the task. And even as the jackdaw struggled, the ram hardly noticed he was there. Nearby, just across the field, the shepherd saw the fluttering bird and was quite amused. Running up, he captured the jackdaw and clipped its wings. That evening, he gave the jackdaw to his children as a gift. What an odd little bird this is, father, they laughed and shouted. What do you call him? This is a jackdaw, the father said. But if you should ask him, he would claim to be an eagle. Captain Kenway! You look like a bowl of plumbed off. Christ! Oh, I've got a head for ten. On your feet! You put me on the spot, Addy. After leaving me with Robert, I shall have hard feelings about seeing you here. But mostly I'm bloody glad. <laughs> me too, brother. And you'll be chuffed to know your jackdaw is still in one piece. So we set sail. You're leaving. Aye, Edward. But I have another calling elsewhere. Ade, listen. When your heart and your head are ready, visit the assassins. I think you'll understand then 